Hi friends, welcome back. In previous session, we have created one project and we have created the category master here and we perform the CRUD operations. In today's session, we are going to create product master and we are going to consume this category inside the drop down list in product master. This is the categories table, we created three categories here and this is the products table which we have relation with the category table. Today we are going to perform CRUD operations on products table. So this is the project which we created in last session. So here I am going to create a controller for product, I will right click on the controllers, I am going to create a controller. I am going to select MVC controller empty. I am going to name it as product controller. So, this is our product controller. First, we have to fetch the data from the database and we have to display in the index view. For that, I am going to initialize app db context which is available inside the data access layer. I am selecting the app db context, I will go to the quick actions, I am going to generate the constructor for my app db context. Now I can communicate with the database by using this context. Here I have to read list of products from the database. For that I am going to use context dot product which we will get it as list. Also we need categories along with the products. For that I am going to use the eager loading. For that I will use include method here I can call categories also along with the products table because we have the relation between these products and categories I will go to the models and I will show the products model this is product model which we are using categories as reference here and foreign key reference used for category id so now while displaying the products so we have to display the category name also for that I am going to use the eager loading and I will call the include method to get the categories also along with the products. Here I am going to pass the products. I will right click on the index action method. I will create a view for that. I will create empty view add. Here I will call model. So we have to call the product model. Here I am going to define the title for index view. make it title as product list here I will display the title so I can reuse this view data here I will add one paragraph and I will add the hyperlink for creating a new product here Here I have to define the action, I will make it as create, we have to create the create view, I will add the class here, so these bootstrap styles I am applying for this hyperlink and here I will name it as create new product. Here I am defining one table to bind the product list. I will add the bootstrap class for this table.
here I will define the table headers table row First, I will display the product name here. I'll copy this. And then I will display the price. Quantity. And finally, I will display the category name here. So, category name we can get it from model dot categories dot name so we are going to display the table header as category name so after adding table header we have to bind the table body inside table so before binding we will get the list of products here we have to validate model is contains any data or not for that i am going to add if condition here i will validate model here model should be not equal to null and then model should have any data so then only we are going to bind these records otherwise we will display message here there is no records available in the table okay here we will get the multiple records so we have to use the for each loop So, we will get the products from the model. Here, I am going to create table row. Inside this table data, I will take it and I will bind with HTML. I will take the model here. I am going to use the lambda expression product dot name first. I am going to copy this table data price quantity we need product price also quantity then we need the category name here which we will get it from categories table here i am going to add one more table data so before that i have to add here table header I will make it as action here we are going to create action buttons for the edit and delete I will make it as edit here we have to provide the route id that is parameter we have to add here I will make it as id here ID and I will add the class here. So, like this, I need one more button for the deletion. So, we have to create this action method for edit and delete also. So, if there is no data, we have to display the message here. For that, I am going to create one row. I will add the call span here. Here, we have to take the number of columns available. We have five columns. I will span the five. And here, I will display the message like. So, 
So this is the message which we are going to display when there is no products inside the table. I will save it, run the application now. So before that we will create a nav item for product inside the layout page. Copy this. So this is going to be product controller. So action will be index and the title will be product. I will run the application. I'll click on the product nav item. So it's showing products not available in the database. In products we don't have any products inside the table. So we will try to add one record from the back end. I'll edit the table. Product name I will enter Samsung and the mobile category will be one price I have added this now we will reload the page yeah, it's showing and the category name also showing perfectly and we have to modify this here already we have the product name and this one we will make it as category for that I will go to the models category here we can change the display name inside the model Here we have to add the missing namespace component model. It should be run the application. Now it is showing correctly this is category mobiles category now we have to work on create new product 